hello everyone uh, today I'm going to show you how I did this video uh, I'm going to show you how I destroyed my rooftop like this uh, I use cinema 40 so let's get started you need, uh, but keep in mind that you need Nitro Blast for this. It's a plugin from Nitro 40. It's awesome. So let's begin. So what we have to do is, first we have to track the camera. For this, I'm going to use the inbuilt tracker of After Effects. So it is a JPEG sequence of the of the clip I shot. And just create a new composition here is it and we'll just track the camera so animation track camera it will track the camera in 3d space so as you can see it's tracked now so we'll just right click on any point and uh, click on create null and camera so it will create a 3d camera and a null object so you can see it's tracked properly now what we have to do is just export the scene to cinema 40 so we'll go in file export and cinema 40 exporter we'll just name any file like i have already exported it as a roof and click on save it will save it but I already saved it so I'll just skip it so now I'll just import the file that I saved previously from after effects roof.c40 file so I'll just drag the drag it in cinema 40 and you can see I have a file okay so Let's create a background object and I will drag the material to sequence and I'll remove the specular channel from it then just drag it on it I will edit the material I will go in color channel click on the image and click on go in cal animation and click on calculate this will create the texture as a movie so it will move with the background with the camera so now what we have to do is we'll create a plane object and we'll resize the plane We will resize it for the full plane, for the full floor to match the floor properly. to off now what we do is um, we'll break it we'll break the cube object that is tracked to the camera now so plugins nitroblast oh we have to create a nitroblast bomb 
So in the center, we'll just adjust the position of Microblast bomb to the place where we want our destruction to happen. So we'll lower the range, increase the power, and plug in Microblast to bring. Click on cube, set it to static, click on Necroblast spawn, set it to dynamic, go on cube, set the pieces to like 50, something like 50 and on Necroblast spawn we'll set the pieces like 52 and just set the frames and the Necroblast spawn we'll set the start frame to maybe 140 so it will capture it on 140 frame because it's giving the best view of the plane so let's see what will happen let's see if it is working or not I think the pieces are not enough so we'll increase the pieces to 100 Okay, now it's looking better. So after a bit adjustment, we got something like this. So first what one will do is we have to texture it. So I don't want to see the plane. In micro plus view, pieces and dynamic. So first we have to to it and click on uh, material and I have created a rock material actually I have not created it so I just drag it to the neutral blast enough material and the outside material I will go on dynamic the mat that we have applied on the background and camera mapping 16 ratio 9 and drag the camera that we are using and click on generate UW coordinates so it will lock the texture with it and that will also again drag it camera mapping but this time we will not uh, apply the UVW coordinates we will not generate the UVW coordinates again so it will not lock the texture and similar for tabs we'll click on static similar for tabs compositing compositive background we'll drag the tab on top so how it is looking this time Creating light, okay. Create uh, ambient occlusion. Let's see now how it will look. Okay. Now go to the global phone, set it to something like 80.
So I think it's looking better a little bit. Still not looking that good. Increase the minimum day length. and will increase the range and power a little bit. So let's see. So it's looking I think better. We'll increase the contrast and minimum real and maximum real line. Let's see, we'll go to physical renderer and apply the motion blur and let's see how it is looking with the motion blur on. Okay, so why this is happening? Oh, I got it. We have to delete the material. I think it's looking better. You can adjust it, you can tweak the settings, you can increase the power of it. Okay, so now we'll just render, we'll just dis disable the render of background. So it will not render the background. And We'll render out the frames from where the action starts. So it is on 120 all the way to 150. So let's save take an alpha channel make sure you have alpha channel on set it to png and render i have already rendered out it but i will show you how to render it so it like this. Set the output from 120 or 120 to 153, and it will render out the footage now. As you can see. Okay. Okay. So I have rendered it. Some of the frames is but I will use my old render I rendered previously because it was taking so much time to render all the flame so I will show you how to import in after effects and composite it with the video so let's just drag the sequence that we rendered it it starts on 99 frames this one this render starts on 99 frames so I'll just delete this. Go to frame number 99, and because it is already alpha channel, it already have alpha channel. It already have alpha channel because we entered it in PNG. So let's see how it looks. We'll just align it to the footage of it now. So as you can see. Aligned it with we'll just this line. So we'll just mask out the line that is getting in the way. And just adjust the mask a little bit. 
me read the last part. So we'll just do some color grading now to make it look better. Okay, so I think it's looking better. So please subscribe, comment, like, share if you like the video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in next video. Bye.